Ever wish you hadn't chosen a big bank or made that bet? I can still choose Community First. Wishing for a new car? Community First lets you delay your first payment up to 90 days. Learn more at communityfirstfl.org. When searching for an air conditioning and heating expert, you'll find there's only one. Right now, at Air Engineer Service Experts save $30 on seasonal maintenance. Call 866-EXPERTS. 2019 Baker Sports High School Football Media Day, the University of North Florida Arena. Ryan the Hacker Green with you. Joined now by Matthew Toblin, and i got to be honest, it's a little different seeing Matthew Toblin in this color shirt, now the brand-new head coach of the Bulls Bulldogs. Coach, another year. Great to be back, my friend. Oh, it's awesome, and it's always this event that uh, Bigger Sports puts on is always a great showcase of area high school athletics and high school football, and we're, we're, we're glad to be here, and it's, a, it's an honor. So how was your offseason? <laughs> Obviously leaving Ponte Vedra to head to Bowles. What has, uh, you know, the last four months been like for Matthew Toblin? So... Uh, for Matthew Toblin, it's been it's been busy for my for my wife and family. It's been super active, no, and it but it but it's been it's it's been really really awesome to get involved. And sometimes as a coach, just the, hey, look, start out from scratch, reevaluate everything that we do. Look, look, why do we do this? And this is something we want to continue. But also jumping in and learning the Bulls' way and understanding, hey, look, this is you know how things have been done and and taking some of those traditions that are super important to to, to, to bowls and then adding some things that, that we've done in the past that will be successful and it's been it's been it's been awesome from building a staff to building a culture to prepping to get ready for a season. It's been an awesome summer. It's been a fast and furious four months, but we're ready to go. Now I talked to you when you took the job and you were very, you know, blunt at the time. You loved your time at Ponte Vedra. You had great support at Ponte Vedra. But it was bowls, and there are some jobs when they come calling, and, and I know what bowls means to you. You know, where you've been there in the past, and what does it mean to you to be the bowls head football coach? I mean, it's incredibly humbling, to be honest with you. I mean, there's still days where I go out there, and you can't walk around that football facility without seeing the names and the and the, and the state championships and the trophies, and and it is incredibly humbling, uh, but it's also awesome to walk those halls and understand that every single person in that building has the same expectations you have and has the same drive for excellence that you have and that uh we're we're super excited uh humbled uh and excited to get and, and to get going to work now you obviously led Ponte Vedra to great heights a 5a state championship game i still think you should have beat american heritage but that's another story for another day um but you do inherit a school with all the tradition and corky rogers and everything he meant there uh, what kind of guidance has corky given you since you took the job but i think the, the most important thing that he said is is look you got to do it your way he and obviously he you know and he might be the most gracious best ever <laughs> that, that we've ever I mean to be the, the, the pinnacle of, of the profession and be as gracious as he is and he basically said like look you got to do it your ways we felt really strongly about the way that we did things but as long as you're going to play tough physical football and execute you have a chance regardless of what your scheme is that, that you know they believed in what they did and like obviously playing against it uh, over the course of years whether in Nice or Ponte Vedra like we feel strongly about what they did and that um, but just the the same beliefs on what it takes to be successful in terms of execution and physical football uh we're just going to go about it in different ways but i think the end result needs to be the same and you obviously got off to a late start you took the job pretty late i remember it was like a week before spring practice what has the catch-up been like to get a staff together to get a playbook and a game plan in order i mean are you guys ready to go in a couple of weeks for the bold city showcase so we'll find out and so the uh you know spring was spring was a bit of a you know, things were going fast. I want to say we did not install a play until the day before the first day of practice where we got, in, got into meetings with the kids and said, okay, look, this is what we're planning on doing. <laughs> and so building a staff, getting them together, talking about how we want to do things. Spring was was a bit of um, whitewater rafts and rapids and we were on a you know we were on a we were on a kickboard <laughs> and that and that now we've kind of got to hey look it's still moving fast but we've built a canoe and that we've got a better chance to kind of things are moving fast but we're we're more prepared for it final question for matthew toblin we talk about the bold city showcase i was with you a couple weeks ago when it was announced what a great day that'll be for high school football saturday august 24th you're going to be part of a triple header there at the Bowl School. You guys are the nightcap 
taking on another great team in University Christian. Uh, great day for high school football, and kudos to everybody involved for getting that game on, both TV. Of course, you'll hear it on the radio on 1010XL, and that's going to be a great day for high school football in this area. Oh, no, it's going to be unbelievable to showcase how good high school football is in the area and to have the quality of teams in this uh, as there is Mandarin and Lee and Atlantic Coast and Bartram Trail and, and then obviously us and University of Christian. I mean, I think it, it'll be an, a, a really cool showcase experience. And, and, and obviously, selfishly, for our kids to be involved in something like that, like all the hard work and everything you do all summer, all off season, all the things that no one sees to get to then go out and play on TV and in front of a, you know, a kind of audience on a Saturday, uh, that it, it's something we could pass up. You're one of our go-to guys on the Friday Night Lights post game, and I have no doubt we'll be talking to a lot of Matthew Toblin this year under the Friday Night Lights. Thanks, Coach. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you guys do for high school sports.